In this video, we're going to talk about for loops and while loops. Both of these are really important in coding in Swift and later in app development. So a for loop is basically used to run a certain piece of code a certain number of times. So the syntax is as follows. Or underscore in zero dot dot less than and the number of times you want it to run. So five. And then curly braces print this um this is using a for loop. So if I run this, we can see that it prints five times. A while loop is a little different. It runs while a condition is true. So let's say var counter equals one, okay? And I'm gonna say while counter is less than um, five. So while this case is true, I'm going to say print counter, counter is still less than five. And then what I'm going to do here inside is increase the value of counter. So I can do counter equals counter plus one. But an easier way to do this in Swift, when you're assigning a value of a variable plus, or you're changing that value and assigning it back into itself, I can do plus equals one. So basically what this does is it does counter plus one without having to type counter again. If I run this now, I'm gonna comment this out so that we don't get confused. So if I run this now, counter is still less than five. So this ran four times because every time it adds one. So one, it becomes two, then three, then four, and then five before it's no longer less than five. So that's how you use a while loop. There's something called an infinite while loop that we need to be careful with. So let's say I never put in this counter variable here. So I'm going to say while counter is less than five. And since counter is a set value of one and it's never changing, it's always going to be less than five. So this code will this code will run an unlimited amount of times. So let's say I run, ran this. We can already see that it ran a lot of times. And if, if, I, if I let it continue, it will run an unlimited or an infinite amount of times. 